All right, welcome back, folks. 5.42 in the morning. Uh, we were supposed to leave the dock at 5 here, and someone overslept, and it wasn't me. Luckily, I got word of the oversleeping that was occurring, and I was able to go back to sleep myself. But for now, we're just going to drive into meet up with Woozy and Grubs. I'll let you guess which one of them overslept. All right. We're going to go striper fishing. It's going to be, eh, you know... A morning thing. We're just gonna go out there, mess around. The stripers have been around. They've been a little tricky to catch, as they often are. So uh, let's see how it goes. Enough other stuff too. There he is, folks. <laughs> Doctor Grubbs, Woozy. We're sitting here talking about how much GoPro suck. <laughs> We're getting underway here. Look at the screen. They're jumping. Yeah. All right. All right, so finicky bass. All right, that's what I've experienced when I've fished this area. Seen a lot of fish on the screen, on the surface. Had a hard time catching them, you know, just in the past. So, first couple casts, I throw the seven inch dock, get nothing. And then I pretty much just marry the zoom fluke. I have tried all kinds of stuff in the past here and uh, I never tried a zoom fluke. And I know the zoom fluke has the power to do it. So, it didn't take long. Finally. Yeah, it's a small fish. Zoom fluke. And we're fishing 30, 40 feet of water. So I have a three quarter ounce jig head on the zoom fluke. And I'm not sinking it to the bottom. I'm just letting it sink 10 nice seconds or so, nice just getting it down maybe 10 feet. And these fish are nice coming up and hitting it. Crappie looking bass. This thing came from um, Jamaica Bay. Stubby thing. The zoom fluke. Eh. Not much. Oh, that was sick. That was sick. Nice. He followed that, like right to the surface. Yeah, yeah. That was sick. That was definitely the best striper bite I've had in a while. Wow, that looks pretty big. Yeah, should be. It's like a over slot. Well, the slot's 31. That was cool. It's not much of a frickin'. He's a little nice little fish. Yeah. Yeah, over slot. Nice fish. Yeah. Real quick, just uh, put him down on the deck real quick. On the deck? Yeah, so I can measure him. Put him on the deck? Just see. On the deck. Right on the deck. Eh, 36. Oh, yeah. 36. Zoom fluke. Burned back to the boat. Here, I'll get it. I'll get it. Look at that. That was not. Yeah. Nice fish. 36 inch. Got it? He hit good. He's a very good fish.
great cooperation. Let's see if I got a zoom fluke in here. The albino zoom fluke. Three quarter ounce. You want that side or this side? Okay. All right. I'm gonna see if this is a pattern, burning into the boat. Yeah. I mean, I've had that happen plenty of times. A lot of times they do want it fast. There we go. He was again, working it back to the boat. Yeah, you really gotta anticipate the zoom fluke's gonna outfish everything. <laughs> Almost a modern day keeper. <laughs> kind of picked a bad day to wear jeans, cotton, sneakers, kind of snotty out here. See him? Oh, I got one. There's one. You got one? What are you using now? A spoon? Spook. Yeah, spook. That would be a modern day keeper, potentially. And it's actually probably over. I'm looking for a modern day keeper. Uh, you got yourself a little maybe over keeper also, about the same size. That was pretty tripled up. Tripled up. Are you tripled? On the fly? Oh god. He's got him for now. He's got him for now. Look at the adversity of fly fishing. <laughs> It's probably a 22 inch fish. Yeah. <laughs> well, right now we're on a little, ooh, screen. Dang, nice fish, Todd. Show me the side of that fish. Yeah, that's a nice fish. That's another 36 oh, incher. No, nah, that one's good. That's a good one. Yeah. Hopefully, that one is probably not. Good fish, good fish. Yeah, it might be. Oh my goodness. Let's get back down there. Yeah, but for the fly, that's a, yeah, yeah. you know, on the fly. You want me to get him? That might be... 26? Yeah, 26, 27, 27 and a half. Fair fish for the fly rod. We're on a big old school. No, they didn't. If anything, they just tightened up. Dr. Grubbs just found one. You gonna try one of those? Yeah, right, right. Big GT eel. It is a blue fish. It's like a little medium-sized bluefish. Yeah, nice and deep-throated. Oh, there goes the papa. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Confirmed. What pound leader are you using? 20, oh shit. That is light. I'm about to whip out the secret color here. Don't know if I should. 
I mean, I see your rusty bronze. I'm gonna raise you a, a solid brown. Brown. That is the secret color. Secret color. Oh yeah? I'm just gonna slow twitch, fast twitch, rapid twitch, rapid twitch. You know anything about rapid twitch? Give the rapid twitch. Have you ever? I do the fluke. Fluking, right, yeah. Nice. Rusty, rusty Rons for the win. Yeah. Rusty Rons. It's about time. Is it a sea bass? No, dude, it's small. It's totally a sea bass. Rusty sea bass. That's what we're looking at. We just drifted over and have been drifting over this whole time. They are down there. Now the walk and those rocks are miserable. Those rocks are hell to stand on, honestly. There we go. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> if the bonitos, well, like sometimes in June there is, or July. June or June or July, there's a couple stirring around. The magic color. It's actually called green pumpkin magic. Yeah, you got a nice little sea bass there. <laughs> They're really liking the, the rons when you're catching them on jigs. And light tackle, it's nice. Yipes. Was there? Yeah. It's a fun fish for some light tackle. Look, his gill raker is broken. Oh yeah? Yeah, he's alive with a broken gill raker. Check that out. That's good scientific oh, data yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. Keep your hands out of the gill plates. But they still survive. And they can survive. Broken gill plate. And that fish is still alive. From a previous fishing encounter. He's gonna live another day. Good scientific data there. A little green. Oh, that's a hard tail. <laughs> Sounds like a hard tail. Snagged. Yeah. Tail yeah. I think he's a tail hook. Oh, something. He's like a tail hook schoolie. Yeah. Tail hook. That'll do. That'll do it. On the um, waterfall jig. I like that jig. Who makes that? I don't know. We buy like a bunch of these. Cheap jigs just for uh, when we have like kids or something and we just want to catch. Like sea bass, porgy. Ow. Damn, he got that hook right into your thumb. <laughs> Bleeding like that? <laughs> the flat fall jig came flying out. Stuck that little really schoolie good. stuck that. Damn, hit an artery. Yeah. We bought a bunch on eBay. Yeah, they're like properly weighted, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's perfect. He's just fighting hard. What you get? A tutage. Nice, dude. Nice. Tug on a diamond jig. Yeah. Nice. 
modern day keeper right there. That's an actual keeper. All right, that's about it for this video. Couple more fish. Uh, one was a bluefish here. A wily old bluefish. And uh, pretty good morning. Quick session with Captain Woozy. Thank you to Captain Woozy. As always, thanks to anyone who takes me out on their boat. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Zoom fluke reigns supreme this time. I will see you guys next time.